it's Trina and today I'm going to be telling you my most anticipated fall releases of 2015. I have been doing some seasonal TBR lists. I did one for spring and for summer. I enjoy making these seasonal TBRs. However, I don't actually read what I put on my TBRs. I think I've read like two books from my spring TBR. I don't think I've actually crossed anything off of my summer TBR. I do love my monthly TBRs. I feel like they keep me motivated. So I don't hate TBRs, but I just there's no point in me calling it a TBR when I know I'm not going to be reading all of these, but I do still want to talk about releases. I do want to show you what I'm excited about. Let me know if you are excited about these books too. By the way guys, if you are new here, I'd like to go into books without knowing much about the summary at all, so I probably cannot give you a great synopsis on these books, but I will be telling you basically why I added them, why I want to read them. So here is my list. The first one coming out is Walk on Earth a Stranger by Ray Carson, which releases on September 22nd. And I believe that this is about the California gold rush. I don't know, something about gold and a girl that can sense where gold is. Pretty sure she's probably hunted for that ability. It sounded really interesting to me because of the setting, and that is a very unusual premise. But then I heard Sam from Thoughts on Tomes talking about how it is a survival story, and that is my absolute favorite genre. They're always my favorite books, so got to read this one, absolutely. The next book, also releasing on September 22nd, is Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs which is book number three in the Miss Peregrine series. I loved book one. I didn't love book two so much, but I am very invested in the characters enough to want to see it through. The next book on my list is releasing September 29th, and that is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. This is a start of a new series, which is a spinoff of her Grisha trilogy, set in the same world after the events of those three books. I loved the Grisha trilogy, and I definitely would love to read more about that world. And the early reviews have been saying it's crazy good, so can't wait. Next, I am really looking forward to Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, which releases on October 6th. In Fangirl, there was a fictional book called the Simon Snow series that the main character in that book wrote fan fiction about, so this is the book within that world, like the Simon Snow book that existed in the book Fangirl. Book Inception happening. I've read everything else by Rainbow Rowell and I really love her books, but this is her first attempt at fantasy, so I'm really excited to see how it goes and to learn more about that Simon Snow story. Also releasing on October 6th is A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis. I loved Not A Drop To Drink and its companion sequel so much that I was like, whatever Mindy McGinnis writes next, I gotta read it, I'm gonna read it. So this is one of my most anticipated releases of the year. I feel like this is going to be a good dark one. That is so discreet. It's set in a mental asylum. I'm sure that there's going to be some like pretty shady medical practices going on because it is historical and they didn't really treat mental illnesses very well so I'm sure it's going to have some kind of a chilling vibe to it. Next I'm looking forward to Snow Like Fire. Is that the name? Ice Like Fire. Ice Like Fire by Sarah Rosh which releases on October 13th. This is the sequel to Snow Like Ashes which I did read and I really enjoyed that book. I thought it was a really good setup for a new series so I can't wait to see where the sequel goes. Next I'm looking forward to Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith aka JK Rowling which releases on October 20th. Yes the 20th. This is number three in her Cormoran Strike detective mystery series and I did I didn't love the first book, but I loved book two, The Silkworm, so I can't wait to see where the series goes. I know that we are planning on getting a lot of books in this series, and I absolutely love the main character, Cormoran, and his assistant, Robin. I don't even know what this book is about. I don't need to know. I know that I'm going to read it. That's all that matters, right? Next, I am really looking forward to Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, which is also coming out on October 20th, and I have no idea how to describe this book. I believe it has something to do with space. It's not told traditionally like just text. I think there's like images and diagrams and words all over the pages, and I, it just sounds really cool. I really cannot wait to check this book out. I am so eager to have it already. Grabby hands, I need it! I am also really looking forward to 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray, which comes out on November 3rd and this is the sequel to A Thousand Pieces of You which came out earlier this year and I cannot exactly tell you um, how that book ended because it's been so long so I don't know what I have to look forward to in book two, but I really enjoyed book one. It's a series about interdimensional travel, and we got to go to so many different types of worlds, and I'm really, really looking forward to just more of that, and I really enjoyed some of the characters in that first book, so I can't wait to see how they turn out. And the last fall release on my list that I am really, really anticipating is Winter by Marissa Meyer. It comes out on November 10th, and this is the 
fourth and I believe final book in the Lunar Chronicles series. The Lunar Chronicles is a sci-fi retelling of different fairy tales and Winter is a retelling of Snow White. I can't wait to see how it all ends. I can't wait to meet Winter. We've already met her but I want to learn more about her and see what her story is and how she's going to play into everything and just see how all of our beloved characters end up because I seriously love the characters in this series and I just I just love this series. It's one of my favorite series. Need it now, please. I am so excited about all of these books and please Please let me know if you are too, if any of them would be on your list of top 10 anticipated fall releases or let me know what your top anticipated release is. It's been fun to just fangirl about all of these releases that are coming out because I'm going to have some major reading to do this fall. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye!